um, sampling distribution is slightly a uh, different concept compared to what we've seen so far. And in a way, um, it's a little bit harder uh, concept in the beginning, uh, but later on, it's, it's, uh, actual calculation is not too bad, but the actual concept is a, a little bit challenging uh, at first. So uh, there will be a few different videos that will uh, talk about the sampling distribution. This is the very first video. And with the small activity, I just want to kind of introduce uh, what is the sampling distribution and where diff is coming from and why diff is interesting and stuff like that. Um, so now I'm going to share. Nice. Okay, so this is my slide. So um, again, sampling distribution, chapter eight, introduction, and we'll be talking about first activity. Uh, for a activity, um, we want to think about picking five numbers, five random numbers from population one to 10. Um, there are different ways that you can actually do this. There are several different computer uh, softwares will actually let you do uh, this pretty quickly as well. But here, uh, I just want to use uh, this website. This website will actually let us do uh, random sampling pretty quickly. So you just copy and paste this address and then copy it in your browser and then you will see something like this. Okay, so the default for the setting is actually exactly what we we're trying to do. Generate five random numbers between one and ten. Okay, so if you click the go button, it will generate uh, five numbers from one to ten. Uh, if you go button, uh, if you push the go button one more time, we'll do it again. We'll do it again, and so on and so on. Okay, so that's uh, how we're gonna do the uh, random sample. And then with this random sample, this time I want you to calculate the sample mean of these five numbers. Uh, we learn how to do that in chapter three. So what do you need to do is say this is my first sample. And then you're going to do just add all these five numbers and divide it by the size of the sample. So divide by number five. So to calculate that, I here has a, my handy dandy calculator. Um, so I'm going to add six plus four plus four. No, six plus five plus four plus ten plus seven, which is 32 and divide by five five, it will be 6.4. So, and so on and so on. You can do it multiple times. So, uh, what I want you to do right now is pause this video for a little bit, for a second, and then get this uh, uh, thing done five times. So, you have uh, five different samples and you calculate the five different means. Okay. Okay, so assuming that you have a five numbers, just looking at your five numbers, are they same or are they different? I bet you probably end up five different numbers. I mean, some um, might be a little similar, but um, it's not necessarily all five exactly same numbers. Um, does that make sense to you that your sample means will be uh, actually slightly different number? Sure, because even though your population, your uh, first group was one through 10, because we randomly select five numbers from 10, the each random sample is not necessarily exactly same, which means we will be having slightly different X bar numbers, your sample mean values. The next slide, I was trying to do uh, illustrate, uh, try to illustrate uh, uh, what we're actually uh, doing here. So here, your population, again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then you're getting a sample of size five. So there will be five numbers will be selected, and then you can calculate X bar. Well, we repeat that five times. So for each sample, we have five numbers here. But again, as you uh, did, these X bar numbers, you know, black X bar, blue X bar, uh, red X bar, and green X bar are not necessarily the same number, but they are slightly different. Again, even though we uh, uh, start with the exactly same uh, 10 numbers, you might end up uh, slightly different numbers for the X bar. Okay. 
Okay, so uh, before we go there, the whole purpose of chapter eight, when we were talking about sampling distribution, um, we will be focusing on this X bar distribution because of the sampling, the X bar numbers are very, so we can actually talk about the distribution of X bar. Okay, for example, for my previous um, sample, I have these five means. So I did my uh, homework and I have five, 6.6, 5.4, 5.6, and 5.6. And uh, again, the, my fourth number and fifth number are exactly the same. This is meant to be. This is totally um, accident. Okay. So um, I'm going to have, I have uh, five numbers. Again, another uh, different way to represent. Here's your population. You have a sample. One sample, two, and sample K. Um, and then when we're talking about the distribution of something, we typically uh, look at three different things, which is where is the mean? Where is the center of this whole bunch of number? Um, what is the standard deviation? What's the spread of it? What's the spread of the distribution? And then what's the distribution shape? How does it look like? Is this symmetric? Is, is this right skewed, left skewed? It has a one mode or it has a multiple mode and uh, stuff like that. So um, we can actually calculate. Do you think we can calculate the mean of these five numbers? Or, you know, your five numbers. Can we do that? Sure. And also, we can calculate the standard deviation of this five number. Sure, we can do that. And then uh, we only have five numbers here. So if you try to draw a histogram, we, we're not going to go too far. But uh, if you do this process over and over and over again, you know, 1,000 times, 10,000 times, we can definitely uh, draw some histogram and then we can see uh, our distribution. And once more, sampling distribution is uh, the distribution that is caused by sampling. For this particular affection, we will be focusing on sampling distribution of X bar. So by the uh, sampling, how the X bar is distributed. So what's the center of X bar? What's the spread of X bar? And what's the shape of the distribution of X bar? 